Welcome to episode 55 of SpaceX in the News. My name's Kevin, and today we're taking a look at some new developments with Starship down in Boca Chica, Texas. We'll read up on the latest news with Dragon and commercial crew, then we'll finish up with today's honorable mention. Let's get into it. So it seems that this week more has been happening behind the scenes rather than in public view concerning Starship down there in Boca Chica, Texas. But a few things have been happening in the area that we spotted. The Raptor engines that were placed in the Mark 1 prototype for Elon's presentation have been removed and I believe shipped off. Elon said during the Q&A after his recent presentation that the Mark 3 prototype will begin construction in about a month and that each ring it consists of will be made of a single welded piece of steel. Most likely we would not fly to orbit with Mark 1, but we would fly to orbit with Mark 3, which will be built after Mark 1 right here. In fact, we'll start building it in about a month. Well, just yesterday, Lab Padre's live stream of the site caught one of those rings being fabricated. However, we don't know for certain what it's going to be used for at the moment. Elon tweeted that Super Heavy's grid fins, that will be used as control surfaces during descent through the atmosphere, will not be made out of the very expensive and hard to come by titanium that the Block 5 Falcon 9 boosters use, but like the launch vehicle itself, they'll be made of welded steel. There's been more news lately concerning the progress of Crew Dragon, which will take the first American astronauts to the International Space Station for its upcoming Demo-2 mission. NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstein will be visiting SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne, California on Thursday, that's tomorrow, to tour the facilities and hold a media briefing with Musk and Demo-2 astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley. The briefing will be streamed on Bridenstine's Twitter page, and this whole event may very well likely be a damage control type response to the recent misunderstanding between NASA and SpaceX just before the Starship presentation the other week. And Elon further clarified on Twitter yesterday that Falcon and Dragon are expected to be at the Cape with all testing done in about 10 weeks for Demo-2. Also that SpaceX had to reallocate some resources to speed up the program. However, the next major milestone concerning commercial crew in SpaceX is the in-flight abort test, and Elon said that launch will probably be late November or early December. Now it's already time for today's honorable mention. Well, yesterday Boeing and Virgin Galactic teamed up and it may very well mean more competition for SpaceX in the future. Boeing invested $20 million in Virgin Galactic so that they can work together to broaden commercial space access and transform global travel technologies. For their investment, Boeing will receive new shares in Virgin Galactic once they become a publicly listed entity sometime in the fourth quarter of 2019. Boeing is already competing in a race with SpaceX to deliver astronauts to the ISS aboard their Starliner capsule, and Virgin Galactic aims to be the first to fly private passengers to the edge of space aboard their Starship 2 rocket plane. So I would say that puts them more in competition with Blue Origin rather than SpaceX, at least for the time being. That's all I have for you guys today. It's a short and sweet episode. Special shout out to my patrons who support this channel and make these episodes possible. If you'd like to support and receive additional content, make sure you check out the description below. Thank you so much for tuning in and until the next one, Godspeed.